Okay, new project. So we're going on to the Lily of the Valleys. It's fairly, um, I'd say it's a medium pattern. You can make it much easier by extending some of the areas to encroach on each other. That would make it much easier. Um, but it's not too bad. And at the, at the big size, is it would be really simple. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So let's get that out of the way and make a start. So the way I go about it these days is, let me just extend this up a bit. There we go. Is I use the canvas that I'm going to put my final picture on. I use that as my base. I then put my pattern on. So you see that fits exactly on the top and then my parchment paper, which I fit going around the sides and around the bottom. I use gaffer tape because that is literally gaffer tape, duct tape, whatever you call it, wherever you are. That's literally the only thing that will stick to parchment paper that I've found so far. And even then, it needs a good uh, good rub to get it to stick properly. So that just goes all the way round. Now the reason I do it on these frames now is because then I know exactly how much to overlap. Um, and I find it keeps it a little bit squarer as well. Uh, so there we go. So we're ready to go. I'm going to start on the flowers. I have basically pulled out Three degree, three tones of white and off white to start with. So if I just let's just split up what we got. So we got very white. <laughs> That's a very white. That's a very white. That's a very white. Then we got our off whites. What else have I got? That's a very white. Never very white. That's the eye, wouldn't they? Move this one over to the off whites, I think. There we go. And then I've got a sort of middle ground, which I've got my white patterns, and then a sort of going into more of a greeny white. Let me let the dog in. Maybe another pattern as well if I want to use it. I may do, may not do. So that just gives you an idea of what I'm likely to use. I probably won't use all of these, but at least I've got them handy if I need them. So I'm going to start on a flower. Let's start on this one. And all I'm going to do is draw around my shape onto a bit of parchment paper. Want that bit in as well. Go right over the top of that. <coughs> Excuse me, and start with one of my nice whitey whites. 
and I'm just going to cut it out. Simple as that. I have obviously got fusible on the back of all of my pieces of fabric. As per usual, I use Bonderweb. Or actually, I found a cheaper version on eBay which works just as well. It's a bit more gritty, so you have to be a little bit more careful with your very thin fabrics because it can when you iron it it can kind of show the grid through sometimes but actually by the time you've cut it up into smaller pieces you really don't notice there we go so that's the first bit Nice and easy. Goes in like that. And actually, I'm using white, so I'm going to use a bit of parchment over it so that I don't get it all dirty. Just need to make sure I've got it in the right spot. go easy peasy next one and what should I do color wise should I go in for that? Maybe that. Or maybe that. No, I won't do that because I might put that in there. So it's always a good idea to just check back with what I think I actually what I might do is I might leave that and go on to the same colour there and come back to it. Or I could use something like that, that would be quite nice. Got that. Just looking up at my shelves to see if I've got anything else. Really, white's always a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? It's either not white enough or it's too white and too plain. I might just stop and see if I've got something. You know, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. What I came up with is this, but this is too much. So what I actually did is I turned it over and I used the back side of it which is going to be perfect. Don't forget the other side of your fabric. Sometimes it just holds the perfect thing and that's going to be much better. Okay, so I've got this already drawn out. So I'm going to go right down this corner here. Just cut around my shape.
There we go. Something around. Just need to pop that down a bit more so it peels off a bit better. Stick to me makes me that much. So I just gently ease that one up. Just spend my time getting it in the right spot just want it to come down and stick that's better right then I'm putting a bit Parchment paper over the top so my grotty iron doesn't ruin it. There we go, and that's your first flower done. Already done. So we go on to the next flower. And I'm going to use a different whitey white on this one. But exactly the same principle. If you wanted to simplify it, you could literally go all the way around that whole piece there and do all of that in. Okay, with that, it's got a fairly subtle little pattern in it. Hopefully, you can see it. I think what I'll do is I'll just drop my camera down a bit so you can be a bit closer to the actual work. Of a shadow though, so let's try and hmm. what can we do to get rid of a shadow? Something helped. Alexa, turn the light off. Okay. Now me causing the shadow. A bit better, not a lot better, but it is a bit better. Right, so what was I doing? Do I draw around that bit? Yes, there.
So that just goes in like that. It's a bit difficult to see this pattern actually because you'll see it's white on white. So at the moment you can't really see what's going on. But when I've done a bit more, I'll put something behind it so that you can kind of see where it's going. It's all about finding the right solution. I like that, but I think maybe that would be better on the next layer. If I did that on that layer, I need to think about something quite plain. Ah, that's what we want. So it's going to go right under there because it's a linen, so I don't really want any of my edges too exposed to that because it has a habit of fraying a little bit. Whoops, forgot. Lovely. You can't really see. <laughs> so put something in there so you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, what we need, we need a bit of some a bit of colour on it. Which should be easier to to grab hold of than you imagine, but finding something when you're not prepared. It's just there. Uh, just slide that under. There you go. <laughs> but I do need to move it so that I can draw out my next bit. And then we'll put it back again. See, that's already just fraying on that edge. So I need to make sure that all my bits cover that. Right, so this bit. I'm going to go straight over my stalk and come back and put that over the top after. I'm 
I need to draw this line out quite carefully. So it's coming over the top of it. We want too much over the top. And then I'm going to use this fabric. That's the darkest tone on, on here. I, I have generally, and I generally do it most of the time, I lighten, excuse the dog, I lighten up the picture colours. So on my picture, this is it's fairly, it's not fairly dark, grey, but it's more of a grey colour than this is, but it fairly light in tone with a fairly lush green darkish background so you can play around with the colors a bit Cutting this out a little bit more carefully because it's going over the top of everything. There we go. Wondering if I can pull this up on under that bit. I don't want that white to be the just need to just cut that corner off, round it off a bit. You can see. Need to just pull it up, just round that edge round a bit. It's better. I think what we'll do is we'll do the stem, and then you can kind of see where I'm going. With it, I haven't prepared for that, so you have to wait for me. To <laughs> oh, I've got to do this bit in here. I'll do this bit back here. Which is again a white. So we'll use this white that we used on the top there. We'll use that again. Right in there. Be happy with that. Got this bit in here as well. Got this bit. Right.
here. I want that. Right. So I've stuck. Just go down again so you can see what I'm talking about. So I stuck this to the linen piece, but I want this to go, this piece I've just cut out, I want to go over the top of that linen bit. Actually that's fine, so that actually works out alright. I was thinking I was going to have to pull it up from the other bit, but it actually works fine. So we can just stick it on the top there. Right, and then the stem. Again, if you want to, you could simplify the stem down to do it all in one colour. That would look absolutely fine. I'm a martyr to hard work, so I'm not going to. What I need to do is just pull this back to find the bottom of my pattern. what I love with parchment paper is you can just manipulate it around so much. So it's going to be like that. I didn't prepare for the doing a stem so now I've got to try and find the right colours. Apologies. I want a fairly Dusty green. That's quite nice. Let's do that. It's going to really pop. Is coming over the top of that one. I'm not going to stick it though because I've got the other bit to do as well. So I'm not sticking it to the top of my flower just yet. So that's coming around like that. Is it just down here or down here? I don't think so. So that's how it's going to go. So I'm going to pull this back first. I'm going to take that right off. I'm 
And all I've got to do is stick that down. And then just gently ease that back so I can see. So that reaches the bottom of there. And comes back up. So that Now I'm happy with it and give it press down onto the flower itself. Right, so we're gonna I'm gonna stop there and carry on because we've made a good start. There we go, you can see where we're going with it. Uh, I shall carry on and then come back with some other part of it, <laughs> probably a bit of the background. I'll probably carry on with some of the, these flowers, um, and maybe some of the stems as well. Well, we'll see where we go to. So, bye for now. <laughs>